You know your irrigation system makes noise, but did you realize it can also communicate with you? It is sending a visual message right here. Look a bit closer. Do you see the message? The translation is, I'm not getting enough water. And what about here? Listen, do you hear the message? Hey, I'm all covered up and I'm not doing my job. This sprinkler head is costing you. What always impacts the efficiency of irrigation components is the encroachment of the plant material adjacent to or over the uh, irrigation sprinkler head. Two things are happening here. One area is getting too much water. The rest of the area you had intended to get water is dying of thirst. In one moment you can be wasting and denying water. Time to do a little cutting back. Or maybe cut back a lot. Be fearless. If you have ivy, if you have any type of plant material that's very aggressive and grows and wants to cover everything if you let it, be fearless with plant material. Your house, your yard, take out your pruning shears, have your gardener just clear a patch a foot around the heads, and in a month or two, the ivy will be right back up trying to cover the head again. There, that's better. And here? better again. Ideally, you should walk your system once a month. If you don't want to monitor the growth of aggressive plants, consider an alternative. Think about something that's going to be prostrate, prostrate juniper, prostrate rosemary that's only going to get six inches tall maximum. These will not run over most sprinkler heads. If shorter plants are not practical for you at this stage, consider working a little harder now by switching to risers. Risers are permanent above ground uh, irrigation adapters that basically from the irrigation pipe in the ground you can get it pretty much uh, up to a foot. If vandalism or damage is an issue you'll need to consider longer pop-ups. But remember if it pops up a foot above the ground it'll need to be buried a foot below the ground. This kind of fix can be a lot of work. In residential uses you know, it's more work than it's worth, to be very honest. In commercial areas, this is why they install two feet, 24 inch chassis, because they don't want to, you know, have their heads blocked. It's not just aggressive plants like ivy that can compromise the efficiency of your system. Grass can do the same thing. The system isn't working correctly if the head doesn't pop up or pop back down. This can cause problems besides the immediate damage of someone not seeing the head and breaking it off. There is also a long-term damage to consider. If this is an ongoing problem, you can have runoff, you can you know, have real wet, mushy spots, and again, it could cause issues with grass or foundation areas of your home. If careful, a gardener can use a weed whacker to trim. You may also try a careful application of herbicide like Roundup, or make your own less toxic solution by mixing a bit of vinegar with water. These tips from the Otai Water District should help you get the most out of your irrigation system. Some suggestions require more work than others, but all of them will help you save water and money. For the Otai Water District, I'm Leonard Villarreal.